Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Wavy and this is just Wavy Media. And if you're a returning subscriber, frequent surfer, you are most welcome back to the channel as well. Thank you for joining me today. As you guys can probably tell from the fact that I am sitting on my chair in my room, uh, I forgot to fill up an intro to this video when I was in Disneyland Paris. So here it is now. This video is the hunt for hidden Mickeys. That's Mickey Mouse shapes that appear in architecture and just how the park is designed, hidden throughout, and they make a little Mickey Mouse shape. Um, there's some cool ones in Disneyland Paris, as there are in all of the Disney parks. And this video is a look through Disneyland Paris and the Walt Disney Studios. Uh, I think there's only two, maybe, in the Walt Disney Studios park that I found. Um, but yeah, to look for hidden Mickeys. Uh, so yeah. Join me. I hope you enjoy the video, guys. Before you even get in at the welcome sign, there's a hidden Mickey here, just to the side of it. Awesome. We are just inside the door of the Emporium. Out, just out there is the Disneyland Railroad for a hidden Mickey, because there's one in this picture of the Emporium from Orlando in one of these little vehicles outside the Orlando Emporium you will find a hidden Mickey and a hidden Goofy as well so I'm going to turn the camera around and I'll zoom in on it so see in the little red wagon there if we zoom in you can see one of the people is Mickey and right beside him is Goofy there inside in the wagon outside Orlando's Emporium Watch the things you didn't know about Disneyland Paris. I might not have known about Disneyland Paris video to see more about this sign. Our next hidden Mickey finds us back here on Main Street, USA. And just before you get to the Liberty Arcade, there was also, can I just point out, there's this random house that Disney have built here. Like it's for nothing. It's not even a facade for something. It's just blocking like whatever is behind there. But anyway, hidden Mickey. Here we have a ship picture and if you look on it you will actually see what's basically the part that's actually up there. I'll turn the camera around and zoom so you can see it better but there's a hidden Mickey here on this picture. So here we go. I have to just find it with my eyes between this girl with the pink dress and the lady with the blue dress. You can see Walt and Mickey just there. So we're kind of looking for hidden Mickeys in Disneyland Paris. I'm here at the casting agency door on Main Street USA between Walt's Restaurant, which is here, and Libby's Boutique, which is here. And the casting door has on the top of it a hidden Mickey. Awesome. For our next hidden Mickeys, we have come to Liberty Arcade, uh, where you can see the very boring Central Liberty thing. Because the walls here in the corners all have hidden Mickeys with a star inside them. See them up there? They're upside down. But hidden Mickeys. So as we continue to search Disneyland for hidden Mickeys here at Fonte de Loro, which is the Mexican restaurant, we've got one just here on the sign. Do you see this? Three wheels together making a hidden Mickey here at Fuerte del Oro. So the next hidden Mickey here at Disneyland Paris is going to be on Big Thunder Mountain. Uh, I didn't manage to get a picture of it because I was told to put away my phone. So I had to put away my phone. Um, but there's like a pipe as you go to the second lift on your, your left and it's red and it just looks like a Mickey Mouse. I will insert a picture of it here. Hopefully, which I took myself the second time I got on this, but maybe from the internet. Our next hidden Mickey is found here at the entrance to Adventureland on the Adventureland sign. You can see there's two worlds. Well, you can see one of them, but there is on each end there's a globe, um, and one of those, or no, both sides of it actually, have a hidden Mickey and also some letters. So I'll turn the camera around so that you can see it. You see, there's the two globes. If you zoom into the corner here, these two circles, a 
above this central circle. My hand is shaking. These two circles above this central circle make kind of a hidden Mickey. And then there's three letters inside in it, which are W, D, I for Walt Disney Imagineering. Imagineers, of course, are the people who design Disney theme parks and rides and all the rest of it. So they have put themselves into the design there. You wouldn't even know unless you knew. But there it says Walt Disney Imagineering inside in a hidden Mickey. There's three barrels above our heads right now, but they're sideways. Um, they make a hidden Mickey if you could see them the other way. Gotta catch this before it starts moving because for our next hidden Mickey, we're here at the Astro Orbiter. I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you. It's kind of a sideways hidden Mickey, but the planets line up to make a hidden Mickey on the Astro Orbiter. So see it there? You've got hidden Mickey, but he's sideways. Um, is this called Orbitron here or Astro Orbiters? I can't remember, but anyway, there it is. So right now I am on the very top of the castle in the Alice Wonderland maze um, for our next hidden Mickey, which is behind me on the top of the Space Mountain Tower over in Discovery Land. And you can really only see this hidden Mickey from this vantage point, which is kind of cool. I'm going to turn the camera around and try and zoom on it so that you guys can see it. But it's this telescope here makes a hidden Mickey from this vantage point. And you can kind of, kind of make it out from some others. But this is the one you can see it the best from. So we're going to turn the camera around so that you can see it now. So we'll zoom. Hopefully you can see it. You can see that circle. There's a telescope looking up. And then there's like two circles to either side of it. Like ears. Um, it's kind of pointing a little bit more further back from here. But you can see it from here. A hidden Mickey on the top of Space Man. So I am here at Walt Disney Studios. Uh, can you see it? There we go. For the next of our hidden Mickeys, which you can only see when this gate is closed, and it is closed right now because it splits down the middle, you've got a hidden Mickey there between those two gates. And inside the hidden Mickey, there's Mickey with a camera. So it's a hidden Mickey within a hidden Mickey. So I don't know if this next hidden Mickey counts as a hidden Mickey. You can decide it yourself. It's this right above me, the Earful Tower. I've seen it in videos counted as a hidden Mickey. It's not really a hidden, it's a giant. But then I suppose it's not something that's usually also when you have shaped. Um, let me know in the comments if you agree with people that this counts as a hidden Mickey. So the next of the hidden Mickeys here, and the only other one that I think I know of in Walt Disney Studios, is right here at the Flying Carpets of Aladdin. And it's with the lamp. I want to show you a picture because you have to wait till the sun is at a certain angle and a certain time of day and I know I'll miss it, I won't be back for it, but I'll just put it in a picture. The reflection of the lamp on that purple background behind it creates a Mickey Mouse silhouette um, certain times of the day, which is just so many levels of clever. It's obviously, I would imagine, spins um, as the right spins. I don't actually know maybe it doesn't. Um, yeah, that becomes a hidden Mickey, which is really cool. Show. 
So for our next hidden Mickey here in Disneyland Paris, we are outside It's a Small World, which is closed at the minute. Um, every It's a Small World I've been going to recently has been closed. But anyway, there you go. It's closed right now. Um, but the hidden Mickey we're looking at is just under the clock face. It's right here, do you see it? There's two smaller circles and a bigger circle there. I'm gonna turn the camera around so I can zoom on it and show you a little bit better. So when you look at the clock, there's the sun and the moon, and coming down to the left, there is a blue wheel. It's the one, two, three, four, the fourth big one down, and it has two little yellow wheels above it. There is our hidden Mickey here at It's a Small World. Oh, it's a bit sunny. I'm gonna kind of turn this way. For our last hidden Mickey, we're here in Fantasyland, and the last hidden Mickey is actually at the back of the castle. So I'm gonna go cl a bit closer and turn the camera around so that you can see it. But there is bricks on the castle that are kind of a gray color or a whitish color um, that stand out against the pink and three of them together underneath a staircase make a hidden mickey so i'll turn the camera around and show it to you now so if you look at the back of the castle the one with the turret and the staircase and just underneath it just there is a hidden mickey made out of the bricks our last hidden mickey for this trip to disneyland park um, so that is all I have for you today guys. If you like this video, please give it a like. Click that subscribe button to keep the tide coming in. Hit the notification bell so that you know the next time I post a video. I will link the Disneyland Paris playlist um, above. You're probably going to see this multiple times because I'm just filming one outro for a, no a number of videos. So you'll see this beignet loads of times. Um, yeah, thank you for surfing on a channel that's just wavy enough for surfing and I hope you have as magical a day as I'm having today. Take care guys.